If you're interested in investing in commercial real estate, utilizing other people's money, a syndication may help you get your foot in the door. In this video, we will run through the basics of a syndication to give you a nice, short overview of the topic. So what is a real estate syndication? A commercial real estate syndication is an investment strategy where instead of using all of your own funds for a deal, in a syndication, investors pool their funds together to raise enough capital for the down payment. This group of investors is referred to as a commercial real estate syndicate. Now, you may choose this investment strategy if you would not typically be able to afford the property individually or just don't want to take on the investment alone for one reason or another. For example, some commercial real estate deals require a high level of skill and knowledge, and investors team up with others who have expertise in different areas to take the deal down. And by working with others and divvying up their responsibilities, you're giving yourself more time to work on other deals and don't have your balance sheet so heavily tied up with one property. There are two primary types of syndications. The distinguishing factor is how the investors are classified. Are they accredited? or unaccredited. Here's the definition of an accredited investor. Either an individual investor with an annual income exceeding $200,000 or $300,000 jointly if married for the last two years with the expectation of earning the same or higher income in the current year or individuals with a personal net worth that exceeds a million dollars. Now, that does not include your personal residence. It could also be a business that has assets in excess of $5 million. Now, because syndications are an investment offering, they are governed by the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC. Now, the SEC has rules governing each type of syndication and requires documentation on each offering. It is critical that you hire an SEC attorney to walk you through the process because you do not want to mess around with the SEC. Let's talk about the 506B offering. 506B offerings are referred to as friends and family offerings. Under a 506B, you're allowed to raise an unlimited amount of capital from accredited investors and from up to 35 non-accredited yet sophisticated investors. Therefore, you can accept funds if you can prove that you had a pre-existing relationship with the investors. 506B offerings cannot be advertised to the public, which some may see as a downside, and the investors must be sourced from your list or circle of influence. The majority of syndications that we do at my firm are 506B offerings. You may find that a little bit easier than a 506C. 506C offerings are only for accredited investors. These offerings can be advertised to the public. You can cast your nets wide by using pretty much any type of advertising. Facebook ads, magazine ads. You could even go on CrowdStreet and crowdfund your deals if you wanted to. We've only done one 506C offering and I'm gonna be honest, it was pretty tough. All of our investors ended up being pre-existing relationships anyway. So really we just eliminated a number of our investors that weren't accredited but would have jumped into that deal. After all, it's tough to get a complete stranger to give you a large amount of cash for a deal. We had to learn that the hard way. Now, how is a syndication structured internally? In a syndication, there are two main players or groups, the deal sponsor and limited partners. The syndication sponsor, sometimes referred to as a syndicator or a general partner, depending on the deal structure, is very active in the investment. The deal sponsor identifies investment opportunities, arranges financing, acquires the property, and takes on a lot of the property management responsibilities. Sponsoring a deal is a full-time job. The investors are typically limited partners in the deal. They are passive capital investors. Their only responsibility is to contribute capital to the deal. Now they may have in-house work to do on their end to determine if this is a deal they wanna be a part of, such as interviewing the deal sponsor. But other than that, investors simply review the financials and reports quarterly. So they have little to no real responsibilities in the day-to-day -day management of the asset. So why should you get involved in a syndication? There are many advantages of syndications including the following. Investors can acquire larger assets and projects, more stability due to higher unit counts or better locations, less money out of your pocket if you are the deal sponsor or even a limited partner since you can buy assets that you typically couldn't afford on your own, and truly passive real estate investing and cash flow if you are the limited partner investing with a sponsor. 
Syndications can also support on-site professional management, which makes it a lot easier for the project to actually be successful. They have tax benefits, forced appreciation, write-offs, just like any other real estate investment. And those are just a few of the many benefits that come with a real estate syndication. Now, if you'd like to dive deeper into the world of commercial real estate syndications, check out this video here.